Oh, y'all are going to love this one. This is an example that's going to get messy algebraically. I want to show you how uh, to handle it when it does get messy algebraically because it's not that uncommon. Uh, but let's take a look at what we've got. We want to plug in an x equals 0. If we plug in an x equals 0 here, we have 1 over 0 because the natural log of 1 is 0 minus 1 over 0. So we have an infinity minus infinity in determinate form. That means no L'Hopital's, right? So we can only use L'Hopital's rule if um, we have a 0 over 0 or an infinity over infinity in determinate form, which we don't have here, okay? Uh, we have a, an infinity minus infinity. So there's nothing we can do with L'Hopital's unless we can rearrange things to make a 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. So uh, how could we possibly rearrange things here? We can combine them with a common denominator. So we're going to combine our terms. Look, if we are hoping to get a 0 over 0 or an infinity over infinity, we're going to need one fraction. So we're going to combine with a common denominator. And uh, that's going to look like x minus the natural log of x plus 1 divided by x times the natural log of x plus 1. So now we plug in x equals 0. And uh, if we plug in x equals 0 here, we have 0 minus 0 over 0 times 0. So we definitely have a 0 over 0 indeterminate form now, which means we can use L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule says that our limit will be the same as the limit of the derivative of the numerator, which is 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 over the derivative of the denominator. Now, taking the derivative of this denominator is going to involve a product rule. So we have 1 times the natural log of x plus 1 plus x times 1 over x plus 1. The derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. f prime g plus fg prime for the product rule there. All right, so uh, that's kind of a mess. Let's see if we can sort that out. This is not going to be a L'Hopital's rule step, but just an algebraic simplification, cleaning it up type step. So this numerator needs to be combined with a common denominator. Let's do that. That will be x plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 divided by this denominator needs to be combined as well. So we'll combine that. In that case, the common denominator will be an x plus 1. looks like we have x plus 1 times the natural log of x plus 1 plus x, all divided by x plus 1. I told you this was going to get a little messy, right? So again, this is not a L'Hopital's rule step, but just some algebra. Let's see what we end up with here. We've got the x plus 1 minus 1. Those ones go away. This is going to be x over x plus 1 times, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, x plus 1 over x plus 1, natural log of x plus 1 plus x. Let's get our cancellation on, like that. So we now have the limit as x goes to 0 of x over x plus 1, natural log of x plus 1 plus x. As x goes to 0 here, we're going to have a numerator of, of 0 and a denominator of 1 times 0 plus 0. So we have, once again, a, I like this better, a 0 over 0 indeterminate form. So after all of that, we still have a 0 over 0 indeterminate form. We're going to persevere, and we're going to do one more L'Hopital's rule step. We can do it because we have a 0 over 0 indeterminate form. So one more L'Hopital's rule step. Our limit is the same as the limit as x goes to 0 of the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator. Product rule again. So derivative of the first function is 1 times the second function, natural log of x plus 1, plus x plus 1 times the derivative of the natural log of x plus 1, which is 1 over x plus 1 plus the derivative of x, which is 1. Some nice cancellation there. We like that. Now, we plug in x equals 0, and this limit finally works. We have a 1 
over 1 times 0 plus 1 plus 1. That's 1 half, and that is the value of this limit. Recapping briefly, we had to do the algebra to get it into a form where we could use L'Hopital's rule. We used L'Hopital's rule. We had to do algebra again to see what was going on to simplify the expression. We found that we still had a 0 over 0, so we used L'Hopital's rule a second time, and we were finally able to get this uh, to work to the point where we could plug in x equals 0 and not have an indeterminate form, and that is the answer.